Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can use Mail Merge to mail merge attached files. So what I've got is a database in Excel. If I just open this up, you can see this database here, which has got a path to some documents that I want to attach to a mail merge. I've put my email address for each person so you, I can show you how that appears when it comes back. So that's what I'm going to use for the mail merge. And there's the documents, the attached documents. If I go into the folder, you can see the attached documents there. So these are the documents that I want to attach to the mail merge. So I'll minimize both of these. Just come off this file altogether. So you start the mail merge process as normal. Go on to mailings. For this to work, I'm using add-in, which is Merge Tools. Now, I've already got a video um, explaining how to get mer Merge Tools. I'll put a link in the comments so you can see that and you can get that. But I'm on the Mailings tab. Start the Mail Merge. It has to be set to Letters, so that's the first thing. And then I need to go and get that Excel spreadsheet, and that is in Merge. And there it is there. So that is me getting the data. There's only one sheet in there and I'm clicking OK to that. So if I go to edit recipients list, you can see those those people there. Now what I need to do is just insert a couple of fields. So first name, surname. So that's going to say if I put that into preview, you can see that says Steve Saxton. And I could just say in front of that, if you want, dear. Steve Saxton, here is your invoice. And then I can insert some of these other fields. So invoice number, invoice, um, well, account number. Here's your invoice for, I'll put for account number. Number, so you just populate this up and which is due on you've got a date field in there I can stick that in there date due like so and you just populate that with your fields so if I take that off you can see that's where the fields are put that back on and I'll just save this this is a main letter so I'll just call it um, main letter merge so it's about letter wrong mail main letter merge save that and then what I want to do now is go on to the merge tools and then this is the, the bit I want here merge with attachments so I'll just click on that and then it will load up the relevant bit that I want to use so that pops in so at the top there you've got all your fields and it says select the merge fields that contain the path with the file name of attachments so that's invoice location take that across and then down here merge destination this opens up three options and i want this one merge email as a pdf attachment so at the moment it's a word attachment so in fact i'll use that one word attachment and then you've got select the field containing the name to be used as the file name for each document that so basically let's do that surname select the field containing the email addresses so email address select any that cc carbon copy blank carbon copy i'm going to leave those blank send using that email yep and then title invoice due or something like that and then you can put you can tick that or you can type that if you want and then you've got these three options at the bottom. Save that to a folder. I want this to go now. So I'm clicking on send now and then continue. And then that should send an email to each person. All of them. OK. So it's picking up a folder. So I'll pick the folder for it to save into, which is going to be folder two. OK. And then this is the message that um, Doug Robbins, he's the owner of this add-in, and you can just click this off, and then it should send 
the emails through to your Outlook. So if I bring Outlook onto that screen, let's have a look, see if it's worked. Just make that full screen. Let's do send and receive. And then hopefully that comes in. So there's an email per person. Each one coming in with the attachments attached to it. Not the Barclays Bank one at the bottom, obviously. So if I come out of Outlook for a minute, just minimize that. So this add-in, Merge Tools, is what you need to get. And like I said, I've got a link for that at the bottom in the comments. You can go on there and download it, follow it through. I've also got a link in a video that I've already done, which shows you how to get that and download it. So I'm not going to repeat myself uh, to do it again, but that's what you need for this to work. It also helps you do stuff like this, merge two individual documents as well. But I've also got a video working on that one. So that's all I want to talk about on this little video, how you can do a mail merge with attachments. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.